coincidence. So, well, we used to, when this show began five years ago, we did the leads to start the program. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think a lot of people like that. Some, mm-hmm. you think so? I don't no. know. Well, I, I, I believe like we just did this oh, last <laughs> week, didn't we? Yeah, when you were off, we did a a shime shime's lead. Was it the national anthem at the All Star game? That is, is exactly what it was. <laughs> I am Rain Man. I went uh, though. Chuck mm-hmm. call, Greg. No, no. Shime did his lead in the first segment because we couldn't avoid talking about the national anthem at the Home Run Derby. So I mm-hmm. made it a decision. Made a decision that morning for Shime's lead to occur so that we could unlock the conversation okay. in the first segment. Then I am. I'm. I'm. I'm going to go for it. You're right. Go ahead, Mr. So, Mr. So, Mr. Mr. Wiggins. Your lead this morning. All right. So my lead is this. The moving of the goalposts is ridiculous. When you look at what the Red Sox did, they acquired, what, four pitchers that can bolster this lineup. Shime even talked about it. When you look at where they are when it comes to hitting, they are in every, they are in the top ten in every major category, whether that's hits, um, average. You look at what they are doing, total bases, and they made the moves in acquiring starting pitching help, bullpen help, and yet, and not only did they do that, they also locked up Alex Cora for a contract extension for the next uh, three years after this year. So they did everything that people wanted, plus locked up Cora, which a lot of people didn't know what they were going to do in that direction. Right. And yet, the criticism of the front office and ownership is, is still out there yelling and screaming for what reason, I don't know. So they can't buy a break as far no, as you're concerned. No, the no matter what. What they, about a bat? No, they, no matter what they, <laughs> they, they lead in. I told you, they're top 10 in every major category in hitting, Curtis. Hitting's not their issue. Even Shime talked about that. That might have been one of your lead Shime about a week or so ago. Yeah, where they've been mashing. They just need pitching help. Right. Which it was probably Monday morning. And they, and they did that, and yet... The criticism of the media and, you know, people around here, Curtis's criticism about this team is not trying to win. What else do you have to do? Do you I think, think they're closer to a World Series today? Uh, they're closer in the sense of their team is better roster-wise on paper. That's not what I asked. I yeah. said, do you think that there's yes. a better chance that they win the World Series? No, now? the chance of winning the World Series being close to two different things. Well, right. Uh, they don't have a chance to win the World Series. But are they closer? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, I mean, I, 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 thought, I don't hate it, Wiggy. I'm not, like, you know, burning any buildings down. I just... Curtis, just, when you say they don't have a chance, I, I thought that at some point recently on this show, you would point it out that the last two teams to win it all were was, wild card teams. That was baseball, uh, Brett. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Right. But, yeah, I mean, there, there's... If you get in, then you statistically have a chance. I... I just try and hold the team to the same account they were held to when they were winning World Series. And if this deadline occurred in 2017, there would be no positivity. Yeah, but you know the difference between that deadline and this deadline? It's 2024. They, they, it's a different direction. So you got to look at where they are and where the organization is going and saying, okay, how they're doing things today rather than living in the past. And, you know, that's like saying, well, if the Patriots still had Brady, they'd be in contention for mm-hmm. a Super Bowl. Question for you, Wiggy, on or Curtis or Courtney or anybody on the Subaru of New England text line, which is 37937. Find your authorized Subaru retailer at SubaruOfNewEngland.com. Do you think Alex Cora is happy with the moves that Craig Breslow made? Do you think that this morning Alex Cora, is ha- he got what he wanted when it came to improving this baseball team? I think he got what he expected. Like, mm-hmm. I think whatever Craig Breslow said to us a week ago is the same thing he was probably saying behind closed doors to Alex Cora before Alex Cora signed on the dotted line. So I think moving forward, the next few weeks, the next two months, if the Red Sox fall off, the only people to blame are the Red Sox, not Alex Cora, not the front office. So it's the players. It's the players. The players because are, they can finally be the ones that are blamed. Craig they... Breslow has been loud and clear on mm-hmm. what he felt like this team needed to to succeed, and he gave you exactly that. Yeah, and I would say I would I agree with you, Courtney. The only little bit of disagreement I would have is I would say that Cora and the players are the ones that will be held accountable when it comes if they're not able to do what they're supposed to do. Yeah, it falls on their shoulders. Mm-hmm. I think front office has basically said, "Hey, we give it kind of what we do." With uh, with uh, with with Sweeney and the Bruins, yeah. hey, they gave they gave the team things that they needed. Now it's up to Montgomery and the players to be able to execute. Here is Eric. Eric, good morning. 
Hey, Greg, great program. Thank Wiggy, you. I can't, I couldn't disagree with you more. I'm going to say what I have to say, mm-hmm. and then I'd like you guys to ask Craig Breslow his question. They knew going into the All-Star break, Slayton and Martin were both out. They knew that Kelly Jansen wasn't going to pitch in Colorado. So there's their three best pitchers coming out of the All-Star break, and he didn't do anything. And they've now blown five leads from the eighth inning on with the same Joey, Yoey last night, whatever his name was, the same guys, the same guys off the scrap heap of somebody else's team that let go, and they're trying to piece it together. When he should have went out and been proactive at the All-Star break, I know it cost a little bit more, Mm -hmm. but they were in it. Now they've lost five games with the big lead, with the leads. Okay. Because they so, had nobody to fill those innings. He waited too long, in your mind. Absolutely, Maybe. and I'd ask him, going into the All-Star break, Slayton and Martin were both down three weeks away. Jensen couldn't pitch in Colorado, and he waited too long. They wanted a big role. Do something then. Get a nice reliever. All right, it cost you a little bit more. And then you pick up another one at the end like he did. Yeah. As far as the bat, I like Paxton. You know, and he's going to give them innings. As far as the bat, Wiggy, you can't be further. He's not even going to play. He's only going to play against left-handed pitching once in a while. The guy's a backup catcher, Mm -hmm. and he's not a bat. So you're adding all these things. Wiggy's adding all these things like they did this, they did that. It's too late. The horse is out of the barn. How is it? Here's here's the issue I have, Eric. Going into the the All-Star break, 10 games. Yeah. With the... Joey, whatever he called him, Joey Donuts there, Joey Pitcher, they were 7-3 and three with that bullpen. Coming out of the All-Star break, I think we all agreed. Did we all think, like, as soon as they came out of the All-Star break, they were going to add that, that following week? No. I don't think so. No. And so it was more about the performance of the team yeah. and having some struggles. I mean, they are, since the break, they are, if you include last night, they are three and eight. Am I correct about that? I believe three, yeah, I believe yeah. three and eight since the break. So. And going into the yeah. All-Star break, they were seven and three in that in that 10-game yeah. stretch. Yeah. So I look at it and this, see what the call is saying? Well, you know what? Well, the, 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 uh, the Jensen guy, he, you know, he's a, he's a catcher. But Shime ta- said it, and I looked in, I was like, well, when you look at where they are batting wise, I don't think it's really the bats. Yeah, and they added pitching depth all over the place. Yeah, all right. So, well, I appreciate Reds, that. The, the Red Sox did add. Whether you are happy or not remains to be unseen, and we will talk about that all morning long on this show.